Hi, I'm Ray Lampy, Dr. Barbecue for Big Green Egg. Today's recipe is for race day smoking chili. I start out with the cast iron Dutch oven in the egg. Now when I do it, I like to have it direct over the fire. I don't use a plate setter for this. I want my cast iron Dutch oven getting hot. It's cast iron needs a little bit of oil to get it started. That stuff will get hot fast. I start my chili with bacon. Half a pound of bacon. Thick slice, that looks real nice, doesn't it? Got the oil moved around a little bit. Let's get the bacon in there. Get the bacon cooking, and then we'll move on to the next step. I flip my bacon around a few times. It looks good now, I like it. Try to get it nice and crunchy, because we're gonna break it up and put it back in later. But for now, I'm gonna use all that bacon fat. And if you're a little short of oil, before it starts rendering, just go ahead and add a little bit of extra oil back to it. Now I've got that nice hot bacon fat ready to go. I'm gonna add in one big white onion, chopped up about that size. That's why it's nice to cook outside. Two medium green peppers, chopped about that size. You hear that sizzling? That's good. That means my, my egg was nice and hot, my cast iron Dutch oven's nice and hot. Get this going a little bit, and then add the garlic. Garlic, if you put the garlic straight in that hot oil, it'll brown, and you don't want that. You want to get a little bit of liquid and cooking going before you add the garlic. I'll cook this for a few more minutes. I want to get that stuff good and soft for my next step. My onions, peppers, garlic, been cooking in that bacon fat for about five minutes or so. Not fully cooked, but they're getting pretty soft. This is good enough. It's time to start adding some other stuff now. This is a can of diced tomatoes. Today I got the petite ones. They're cut a little smaller. The bigger ones are fine too. Doesn't really matter, but you want them diced. Don't put the whole tomatoes in there. If you buy the whole tomatoes by accident, dice them yourself on the board. Beef broth. Buy the low sodium for this. We can always add some salt later. Low sodium beef broth, one whole can of that. Beef consomme, this stuff's got a lot of salt and a lot of richness to it, but it also is gonna give it that sort of a gelatinous texture. It helps make a thicken the chili, really good beefy kind of stuff. Put a can of that in there. Cup of water. Chipotle peppers. This is a smoked jalapeno. They come like this in adobo sauce. They're smoked jalapenos in a spicy red sauce. Great stuff. For this, I'm gonna use three of them, three medium chilies. I pull them out, use gloves, and I minced them up. Seeds and all going in there. It's gonna be a nice smoky heat. Today, I just chopped up a few of them, and they're going right in there. That's gonna be my heat and some good smoky flavor. So now I got the vegetable broth. I'm gonna add the meat. This is four cups of cubed up smoked meat. It's a lot of meat for this, but what the heck. Mix that in well, get it going, and now I need some seasonings. A little bit of black pepper, about a teaspoonful. Two tablespoons of ground cumin. I like a lot of cumin in my chili. If you like less, that's okay. Chili powder, see that chili powder? That is some red, bright red chili powder. That's what your chili powder is supposed to look like. That's what you want. The one I use is called San Antonio Red. And then a little bit of brown sugar, just to sweeten it up a little bit. We got a lot of chilies in there, a lot of vegetables. I'm not gonna add any salt yet because between that broth and the consomme and the tomatoes, there's a lot of salt going in there. I'm not sure what I got yet. Let's just get everything cooking for a while. When you put that much chili powder in and all these different chili, this is gonna change a lot over the next hour. Let's let this brew about an hour, 350 to 400, direct, stir it every now and then, make sure the bottom stays clean. If you need to add a little more water to keep it thinned out, that's fine too. My chili's been cooking for about an hour now, nice and slow. Once I got everything simmering, I turned the temp of the egg down to about 250, 275. Just want to keep a simmer going. It gets a little higher than you want sometimes, but that's okay. Just add a little more water if you need to. Don't let it run dry. Stir it and scrape the bottom once in a while. After about an hour, the vegetables and the meat are and tender and looking good. See that? Simmering a little hotter than I like now, but it'll cool down. So now it's time to add the beans. A race day chili like this, I want to add some beans because everybody likes them, but I like to add some interesting beans. Today I'm going to use one can of black beans and one can of pinto beans. As old chili cooking friend of mine used to say, beans are okay in your chili, just get rid of all that bean gravy. And I add them in now. I don't want to add them too early though because I don't want them to cook in the mush. 
And now I'll add my bacon back. I chopped up the bacon, got it nice and crispy. I don't want to get it too sogged out. It probably will anyway, but I want to save it back. That bacon's going to add some salt to this dish too, so we're still not going to salt it. After it gets all done, then I'll taste it for some salt, because there's plenty of salt in there. It's not about not using salt, but there's plenty with all these different ingredients I added. Doesn't that look nice with all those different beans and different colors in there? About another half hour, this should all thicken up. It's going to be looking great. All right, my chili's been simmering now with the beans and bacon, everything all in a half hour. I tested mine for salt, have a little taste, let it cool, taste it. I was fine with the bacon and everything else in here. I didn't need any salt today. Make sure you taste it though, just in case. All simmered up. Look at that. Nice and thick. This is about the texture I want. If you want it a little bit different, you want to add a little water, go ahead. I think this is perfect. I like it like this. That is some hearty stuff, man. A cold day, your friends come and watch the race. They're going to like that. That's race day chili. To me, the Perfect accompaniments to this is a little bit of shredded cheese, maybe some hot sauce if you like it hot, and a handful of these babies. That is a perfect race day smoking chili on the Big Green Egg. I'm Dr. Barbecue. You can get this recipe and a lot of others at BigGreenEgg.com.